right, so today I wanted to be talking about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that's gonna be nutrition. I know, right? The most exciting topic ever, but it is important though. So what I'm gonna be discussing today is how to set up your own meal plan and what you should be looking out for in order to be successful with the dieting and the whole taking good care of your body aspect of it all. So stay tuned and I'm gonna explain it all to you in this video. So let's start off with the basics. What do you need to do in order to have a good, solid diet basically the number one thing is take good care of your macros so your macronutrients which are going to be the big ones protein fats and carbs you got to have these in the right balance in order to get something done nutrition wise to start with it all let's take a good look at what's the most important of the three and for fitness definitely getting your protein in is going to be your number one priority they recommend about one gram of protein per pound of body weight so if you weigh 100 pounds you need to eat about 100 grams of protein so on and so on and so on so measure yourself know your body weight and start eating start eating enough protein for your body to actually grow and progress right so when you look at carbs carbs are mainly used for energy so you need enough of them to actually be energized and be able to go throughout the day but they are not the biggest priority um, because you don't need to eat as many of them as you think you do. And fats are very important for your brain function. So you need to make sure you're eating enough of them, but not too much as well because they are higher in calories because they are about per gram of fat, you have about nine calories and carbs are four. So there is a big difference there. So you don't wanna push the fats too much. So basically what you wanna do in order to combine all three is have a good diet which basically makes sure you have enough protein so get more than enough protein in your system make sure you have enough carbs but not too many because you don't need that much as long as you're energized and feel good you're solid and then also you need to get your fats in not too many but enough to function and make sure that you don't waste calories on useless stuff like for example alcohol or other things because that's the fourth macronutrient which you shouldn't really use at all anyway so this is the basics of the of the macronutrients but there's also micronutrients which are going to be next in line in order of importance if you don't get your micronutrients in like your vegetables and all the things you know with vitamins minerals all this kinds of stuff then your body is not going to perform as well as it could because if you have vitamin d deficiency for example your body is not gonna perform as optimally as someone who has plenty of vitamin D. So the most important uh, micronutrients which you wanna start looking at is gonna be your vitamin D levels, uh, which are gonna be very important because vitamin D is something that's very important for how you feel. Uh, vitamin B12 can also be crucial in how you feel throughout the day. So definitely magnesium can be good for sleep and zinc can be good for testosterone production. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of benefits to getting the right amount of vitamins and minerals in. If you have a good diet, you can get most of these in with food, but it also does help to supplement some of them. I personally think supplementing vitamin D is always going to be a good idea. I think supplementing zinc as a man can definitely never hurt because uh, more testosterone production is a good thing. Don't overdose this stuff, but there's a safe dosage on the little bottle you buy anyway, so don't go over there. Uh, vitamin D, zinc, and I think magnesium is also a very solid choice because of the sleep benefits and the nervous system benefits. And it also reduces DOMS basically, delayed onset muscle soreness. So that's also a nice plus. I think those are the main micronutrients which you definitely should pay more attention to. And the rest you should probably just get by getting a good solid diet and eating healthy foods and not wasting your calories on useless stuff like chips and whatever, all those kinds of things. So that being said though, how can you actually apply this to your own nutrition and make your own meal plan basic? Well, there's a couple things you can do. One of them is going to be you can subscribe to my Patreon and you basically get meal plans just delivered to your door basically. And the second thing you can do is start trial and erroring with yourself uh, with your own diet plan basically so what you want to do is you want to at least always aim for your protein so make sure you get that gram per pound of body weight and then from there on you're going to start seeing what all the other stuff does so let's say for example you have like uh, 100 gram of protein per day if you weigh 100 pounds and you also eat like 200 grams of carbs and like 50 grams of fats i'm just naming some numbers here 
maybe you start start seeing how you feel and maybe you'll perform better if you like lower the carbs to like i don't know 150 and the fats up to 75 or start implementing and trial and erroring with this stuff and see what your body responds well to and then in order from there on you can start looking and what your body does and how it performs if you start performing worse then obviously you need to change something and if you start performing better then you might be onto something so this way you can easily apply this to your own nutrition and start figuring out what works for you when it comes to the micronutrient part obviously you gotta make sure you're getting your vitamins in regardless so make sure you eat a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables because eating vegetables never hurts in the first place so i don't see why you wouldn't do it to be fair so make sure you get enough in of those and then uh, supplement vitamin d i think everyone should supplement vitamin d and if you want to you can also supplement zinc and magnesium but those are not necessary but i would still recommend doing so but i think vitamin d is a must for most people because a lot of people tend to be uh, low on vitamin d so make sure to take care of that as well and from there on i think if you start implementing these basics and if you start doing what i just told you basically uh, you're going to see a big difference in your physique because you're actually going to tailor your whole nutrition plan to what your body prefers and what your body likes the most and this way you're going to progress a lot more you're going to feel better and your body is going to look solid as well so make sure to give me a follow if you want more tips and advice and i'll be sure to make some more videos for you